Greetings, friends. Welcome to another episode of Learning Never Stops. Today's guest is Xenia, a guitar tutor living in Bulgaria. Originally from Ukraine, she left the country because of the war started in February. Now she teaches students from all around the world how to play guitar. She's got a great outlook on life and she knows how to impact people. So please enjoy this interview. What are so uh, what are your some of your interests? I like traveling, seeing other countries, getting to know other people and also my family. I have two kids and, and a husband and they are my main interests now. And also music. I'm not getting tired of it. I cannot get enough of music. That's beautiful. Parents are watching this and they're interested in how they can get their kids interested in some musical instrument, let's say mm -hmm. you know, guitar. And mm -hmm. that's where you come in. You've brought your guitar today. It's a six string guitar. It looks very nice. I want to talk about getting to know you a little bit. What made you successful in guitar? Just a lot of practice and practice once again. Learning how to play guitar takes time and also patience. And my favorite quote that helped me a lot during my learning years and teaching years, try to be better than you and not better than somebody else. Look at yourself and what can you do now from your level to get a little better and every day a little better. This is a great attitude and it's just the thing that makes you progress in mm. everything. So a good outlook, basically. If you could do anything without failure, this is a fun question. What would you do, Xenia? I think that failures can be very productive because, for example, I remember my first public plane. It was awful. It was my mother's birthday and I just started learning guitar and I thought I can do anything. I brought my guitar. It was a big surprise. I wanted to play in public for the first time. I was so sweaty and frustrated. I, I couldn't play anything. It, it was a... Total disaster. But after that, I moved on. I started practicing better and better. Uh, and here I am, uh, a guitar teacher. So that failure just uh, made me a whole profession. Why do you enjoy tutoring? Uh, because I like the communication uh, with other people. And uh, I would like to be a person who can say uh, the right words uh, for those who need to hear them. Uh, because when you are all alone, and you don't know what to do and you know how to start and you are all awkward and you don't know where you are. And I like to be the person who can get you out of this and come on, let's do just one, two, three, four, step by step. And we're getting better together. That's why I like it. That's great. It sounds like a great way to cope with stress. <laughs> yes, yes. What can students do to maximize their learning in guitar? It has to be a discipline in preparing homework. I always uh, in the end of the lesson, I say homework. I uh, send it, uh, send to my students. And in preparing homework is the most important part. Because if you're not doing the homework, then your progress will be little for the next lesson. We will begin with remembering what we did on our last lesson and the progress really minimum. But if you do your homework, your progress will, will grow up. So just yeah. the discipline in making homeworks, that's all it takes. Doing homework. Yeah, that's great. And what experiences in life taught you important lessons? As a teenager, I was a uh, really impatient and provocative uh, and uh, that led me only to isolation and loneliness. I decided that I don't want to live that way. That's why I changed my mindset and uh, by the way music helped me a lot and it made me to go through this transformation. And now you're an expert. That's great. Yes. And what does your morning routine look like? I'd like to start my day with a cup of coffee and preparing breakfast and having it and then taking my children to school. Now, I think now all the parents can see that they have the same morning routine. But after that, when I, when I take my children everywhere and free my space, I can prepare for my lessons or prepare videos, video lessons. 
um, or maybe learning some pieces, some new pieces, and maybe making up some pieces. That's that's probably all. That's good. So you have you have a morning routine that helps you get started and gets you ready for work. Yeah, that makes sense. And what's thing that what's one thing that your business what happened in your business in music that you didn't expect? I didn't expect really that I will be having students all over the world because I have some students from Australia and some students from America. And these, by the way, this Sunday, I had a concert. I'm given an online concert with my students. I'm playing something by myself. I usually open in the concerts. And after that, my students play one by one and through the Zoom platform, and we are all like playing what we prepared. And this time, the, I had to divide it into parts because Australia and America, they doesn't. And I think that it is a big success that I'm having through the whole planet. And also, some of my students have been working with me for about five years, and I'm really happy that I still can teach them something new. I think that's it. Great. Thank you. And what's a common myth about teaching guitar that you would like to bust or share with us the real reason? Maybe some people think that being a musician or being a music teacher, it's like your life is always like a that you're playing, you're going to, con to concerts, parties and everything, but it is just a tip of an iceberg because preparing for the concert takes a lot of time and energy. And nobody can see it really because you're sitting there and you're practicing alone. And also the truth is I'm just other people. I have to pay the rent. I have different problems like other people have. So I'm just like anybody else. But the difference is that I love my music, that I love music that much that I gave it my life to it, dedicated maybe. That's great. And uh, what's the biggest challenge that you're facing right now? As I said earlier, the war became uh, the biggest challenge because my parents are still in Kiev and they don't want to move. They have their life, their house and everything. And I have to say that the war is uh, very awful. When you study it at school, and uh, I remember we were talking something about World War II when I was uh, at school learning. Yeah, you cannot understand how bad this is, really, uh, because mm. people die because life life changes. So many people had to change their life because they just had to. That that is the biggest challenge for me by now. But mm. I try I try to move on. I try to hold to my profession, to everything mm -hmm. I love and I like, and that's what uh, getting me up there. And. W it would support you if someone wanted to help you, they could help you by hiring you and getting guitar lessons. That would help your situation. Yeah, I yes. I, I would like to give guitar lessons. That's my job. This is what I like and I will be happy mm. to help. That's great. So you've mentioned that you do eight years of online tutoring. What have you learned from that? I learned that being a teacher, it means to be very wise and patient. Every person is unique. And uh, you have to feel the exact words and you have to understand how to get to this, to each student and by no knowing them better, by knowing them using them. And uh, you cannot apply one specific method every time. You have to know where it is appropriate and when it is not. That's great. I've got a question about guitars. How do guitars make sounds like how does it work ex exactly? And what's the difference between the different guitars? Let me tell you first about acoustic guitar because I, I, know I have acoustic guitar. Uh, so you just uh, strike the string and, the, and by a finger, you make them vi vibrate. And after that, the sound goes to a sound hole. Hmm. And this, the hollow body, it makes it louder. And that is why you have, that is why it is acoustic because you, uh, the sound is nature. Nature, you just, the hollow body makes it louder. That's how. And in electric guitar, we have uh, the same strings and the same principle we're striking and make them vibrate. But, um, but the sound goes to pick up and pickups convert the vibrations into electrical signals and send them to amplifier. And amplifier turns it into a sound. And that is why they are different. 
Okay, great. And do you have any good goals for students who are learning? Good yes, so the best goal is to play the concert. I'm constantly making online concerts with my students. And it doesn't depend if you're studying one month or five years. You just, you learn some, you prepare it, you go play it on public. At first, it will be frustrating. You won't remember everything. Your hands are shivering, but you cannot get this practice any other way. You just, and while you're practicing, you just, when you're having guitar lessons, like you can have five of them, you can uh, learn for one year, but without playing it, at the, playing some piece at the concert, there are no uh, really challenge. So to play at the concert is the greatest uh, goal to have while you're learning the guitar. Great. And how often uh, should one play at concerts? Is it a monthly ordeal or maybe you need more time than that or more frequently than one month? Maybe it is better to do it in time per, per two months, maybe two or three months to prepare better, to have rest. Because when you do it every month, may maybe if you want to become a professional musician, yes, that can be challenging. But if you do it just for fun and you have another hobbies, one time per three months this will be great. Cool. Thanks. And do you have any favorite guitar players that you'd like to share? Yes, yes, really. There are tons of great guitarists in the world and I adore many of them. But I'm the biggest fan of fingerstyle and that is why I adore Chet Atkins and Tommy Emanuel. You can check them out. I was I was at the concert on Tom Emanuel and I enjoyed it very much. It was it was a long time ago. He was visiting Kiev, but I enjoyed it very much. He's a professional in what he does. Great. And how does one get started learning guitar? What are the first things that one should do? Should mm -hmm. one go out and buy a guitar or buy tutoring lessons for, from a senior or what's the first thing that one should do? Yeah, if you're a grown up, at first you have to free some space for your lessons because you have to understand that taking lessons and preparing for them, it takes some time. That is why you have to be prepared to dedicate. If you're a grown up, you have some, some other things to do like work and children and everything. So you have to free space. You have to understand that you like the guitar and you are ready to give it some time. And, and after that, just find a good teacher that you are comfortable with and just follow his instructions. Just do what he says and you will succeed. For sure. Great. And do you have any specific guitars that you recommend for a beginner to buy? It also depends on the style of music you want to learn. If it's uh, classics, then you have to buy a classical guitar with nylon strings. And uh, if it's some kind of pop, you can buy a guitar, acoustic guitar, but with metal strings, just like the one I have now. Or if it's uh, rock or jazz, you have to buy an electric guitar. But I also recommend when children just start learning the guitar, I do not recommend to buy a very expensive guitar because it puts a lot of pressure. I spent my money, so go learning. Just think a $100 guitar for beginner is okay. Perfect. So Thank you. What are some common mistakes that beginners should avoid when learning guitar? The most common mistake all beginners make um, uh, they, it is being very hard on themselves. Mm. Uh, the grown-ups, it concerns grown-ups, by the way, because mm. children, they are, they are okay with it. But uh, so they saw a person playing the guitar and they are all inspired. I'm going to be like Ed Sheeran mm. or somebody else. And uh, now I'm going to play, I'm going to rock it. And they mm. take a guitar and they understand that it's not that, uh, that easy as it looks. And uh, after their first attempts, and uh, they can, um, uh, cannot imagine how much time uh, that every person spent to reach this level. By the way, I have a very good story about Ed Sheeran. I had a student from, he was, he, he worked uh, some time in London and then he moved to Qatar. And when he were in Qatar, uh, we had lessons and he told me the story about Sheeran. Uh, he, he said that I saw that guy in London, he was playing uh, near uh, the underground station. 
And he looked like, like he was a homeless person. Really, that was. And he just played near the underground. And now he's, uh, he's a star. It took about 10 years for Ed Sheeran. He was, I, I think, uh, he was doing music from the childhood. But it took him 10 years to get the result that he is now. The, uh, so the best is to, uh, to take your time and to know. So I'm just learning my first chord. And that is to get it step by step. That's all. That's great. So just not to be hard on yourself. Yes. Understand that even Ed Sheeran is playing on the street corner for like he wa he was how many playing, years. Yeah. yeah. And was playing. Now, now he's playing in the con on like the real concert and he gets the uh, stadiums. That's right. Yeah. Yep. How do guitar pickups work? You explained a little bit about the difference between the types of guitar. Could you explain what are the guitar pickups doing? Is it like a microphone or how does it work on the electric guitar? Yeah, it's all physics. To tell the truth, I'm, I know the basic principle. I know that it consists of black bobbin and six magnet bars in there. And that those magnets somehow uh, gets to amplify the signal. But uh, to tell you the truth, I was not really good at physics back mm. here in school and mainly i'm better with knowing the music better than pickups just to tell the truth yes i understand maybe you can explain to me how do guitar tabs work because that's something uh, that i never understood guitar tabs uh yes maybe i can share uh, because i have some picture can i share a screen uh, yeah you sure can yeah oh wait i have to make you the host but sure Okay. Uh, oh, cool. can, you, can you see it? Yes. So perfect. here is a guitar tab and the horizontal lines, they imitate the strings. The upper one is the first guitar string. Mm. This is the upper one. And then it goes second and then third, oh. fourth, fifth, sixth. This is uh, a thick one. This is mm. a narrow one first, and this is a thick one. And if it says zero, it means you have to play it on the first uh, string open. Mm. Zero means you have to play it open. And if it says one, you have to put your finger on, on the first fret. And so I, I'm playing uh, this one. And two is just, I have to put the finger on the second fret. And three, mm -hmm. the third fret, and so on. Mm -hmm. Under You understand this? Yeah, yeah. And four, four means the yes. metronome or something? Four? Four? Oh, uh, no. Uh, for yeah. four, it stands for the bits. For how many bits? One, two, three, four. There are different measures and you know, four, four, two, three, one, three. And, but uh, it's all music notations. Um, so you, you have to, if it stands for four, you just uh, have to count each bar. Four times one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Is it yes. clear? Okay. Thanks for explaining that so clearly. Now I finally know what guitar tabs are working, how they are working. Really? I'm very glad. Could you explain a little bit difference between a guitar tabs and musical notation? Yes. The guitar tabs are really, this is a musical notation, but for guitarists. Hmm. So for example, here is the same piece we just saw on the tabs, but with mm -hmm. real notes. If you're going to play music uh, professionally with other people, bass players, drum players, pianists, or vocalists, you have to understand uh, the musical notation. It's not that, that simple to learn how to, how to read notation. It's as much as how to learn to read. It can take a while. But if you understand it, you can play with every musician you like, and it's international language of musicians. So that is that's uh, great. That is it. Just like math. Yes, maybe some kind maybe. of math. So we have a little bit of time. Is there anything that you would like to share? Maybe you can talk about your music school in Kiev, or how how was life there? Your musical career. I was life there. I worked as a teacher in um, private school, but it was not like music uh, musical school. It was an international lyceum, and it, it had guitar lessons included. Mm -hmm. uh, so we were preparing for the concerts, and we were um, 
uh, some songs and in the end of each year or student year or for some holidays or Christmas and everything, we prepared the concert. Yeah, and we had a big, we had a lot of guitars there and instruments and it was very comfortable to teach there. Yeah. And now the life going, uh, how the life is going on in Kyiv. Yesterday we had about four, I don't know to talk a lot about it, but yeah, it was, just to see it. <laughs> it was, uh, it was a house, a nine, um, nine, nine level house, nine mm. floor house. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last uh, three uh, floors were destroyed by the Russian rockets. Just uh, in the, it, it was 6.30 in the morning about, I think. And one guy died and mm. uh, he uh, and his little girl is uh, in uh, at the hospital now. You know, it, it is just uh, the key of their bombing other cities. But mm. that's all what I know from Kiev. And it's, it's going on constantly. That is why um, I don't want to, to go up uh, there because uh, I have children and I don't mm -hmm. want them to be dead from the rockets. And, you know, that's yeah. how life goes on in Kiev. Yeah. No, just stay safe and uh, it'll blow over. And I wish you the best for all of that. Do you want to, uh, uh, do you want to play something? Maybe a tune for world peace? For world peace? Yeah. I have to tune my guitar first. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. How about you can t tell us how to tune the guitar? Because that's yeah, something that... Really. Okay. That's the first thing one could um, do, right? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, it is very important to tune the guitar. It's not like a piano. And uh, that is why I have this app. There are, there are a lot, tons of them, really. But I use guitar tuner. I don't know if it's forbidden. No. No rules. Okay, I use guitar. I use guitar to, uh, because I don't know, a free advertisement for somebody. Mm -hmm. But it is really because it is very simple for everyone to understand. Oh. So oh, check mark it means it's good. All right. Yes. Yes. So that one. Yeah. So it was tuned already. <laughs> yeah. Music. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, the... But I guess sometimes the strings, they get longer and then. They get stretched a little bit and then you've got to tighten it longer. Like the strings, they get stretched or something. Like, why do they go out of tune? Ah, that's a constant process for guitar. It is be, uh, because somebody can touch here mm. and, or it's that it is touched eventually and it, it is out of tune uh, after that. Or maybe uh, the weather, the humidity and everything like that. Or maybe the cold. Okay. So I'm going to play the easy on me. Uh, by Adele, it's like a cover, and I'm, I'm going to sing a little bit. That's awesome. Then I've been going in this way, then I've been washing for in this world, but I can bring myself to swim when I am drowning in the silence of the bed. What I chose, I am a professional singer, but that's how I feel now. Yeah, go easy on me. <laughs> I love that. Yes. Thank you so much. That was really beautiful. And I'm sure a lot of people would love to play like that. And they can hire you on Tudor Ocean. And yes. I will be happy to help them. Yeah. So the challenge is to spell your name correctly on the when you're searching on Tudor Ocean. Really? Because there's really? two eyes. Ah, I'm, uh, I'm, I know I did this because originally there's just one eye, but because of, I was making the documents back there in Kiev and they spelled my name like, and oh. that is why passport, uh, I'm like this and all my payment system. And that is why I did it like this. Uh, so hmm. not to make conflicts with payment system. Oh, wow. wow. That is why it is two eyes, but originally it's just one eye. So it's just Xenia. Mm -hmm. That's all. Well, we're going to make it easy on the viewers and we're going to put a link on this video either below or a QR code so they can click directly to your profile. And uh, thank you very much, Xenia, for your time. And uh, I'm sure that a lot of people listening are going to be inspired today to take guitar lessons with you. So thank okay. you very much for coming on Learning Never Stops. Thank you, Kamran. It was nice meeting you. Thank you for this opportunity. I have to say, this is my first interview, but I'm very pleased uh, to tell something about myself.
Thank you for listening to this episode of Learning Never Stops with Xenia, the Guitar Tutor. You can find a link to her Tutor Ocean profile where you can chat with her, you can book a tutoring session with her, and you can start learning guitar right away. So don't delay. Click the link in the description.